Are you fans of Marvel? Even if not, you must have heard about an invisible barrier which the invisible woman used to protect herself from harm. Well, we always think it would stay as a part of comics, but let us tell you guys, it is becoming a reality day by day. As Elon Musk recently revealed his hypersonic jet and introduced the world's first military force field. Let's know more. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the amazing discovery Elon has launched, and the people are going mad about it. Let's come out of the world of fantasy and talk real, Darth Vader's bionic body, the Enterprise's transporters, and the Stormtrooper's laser guns are all science fiction concepts that have appeared in almost every space film ever made. Nonetheless, brilliant engineers and scientists have created working prototypes of these future technologies over the last few decades. But what about the force field, one of the most enduring pieces of science fiction technology? Are we on the verge of creating a real-world force field? Surprisingly, yes. Force fields are real, and they're just waiting for us to use them to live out our sci-fi fantasies. There are many questions that may be circling around your mind more than it's launching. What is it? How does it work? Well, here are the answers. Currently, there are three different force field technologies in various stages of development and deployment. But let's start with the one that most closely resembles science fiction technology. Boeing has patented a force field that protects military vehicles from shockwaves, and the company is currently working on putting the system into production. That's right, a force field created specifically for combat, and that's not just it. Elon is fully in favor of this concept and even launching his first hypersonic with this force field installed in it. So now, after Common and Spaceman, military people also do not have to worry about vehicles anymore because Elon Musk's got you covered. A sensor, an arc generator, a laser, and microwaves are the four components of the technology. A nearby explosion, such as an improvised explosive device or IED, or a missile, will be detected by the sensor. It then uses a combination of arc electricity lasers and microwaves to rapidly heat a wall of air between the vehicle and the explosion. It heats the air to a point where it forms a dense plasma bubble, which reflects the vast majority of the shock wave, shielding the occupants from the damaging waves. Moreover, what Elon Musk interests in, the US military seeking force field capable of stopping nuclear missiles. Elon Musk found the opportunity and said, we are launching the first force field hypersonic jet I would be glad to offer my services to the military. Everything from nuclear missiles to small drones could be stopped by this defensive force field. The Air Force believes that such a force field is possible in the future, but not until 2060 at the earliest. Elon's interest in the military is not new, as Tesla CEO Elon Musk described Cybertruck as a future armored personnel carrier. Several people speculated that the military might use the Cybertruck as a platform for developing electric military vehicles after becoming official that the military is working on a plan to use electric vehicles for remote missions, citing Tesla as an example of how larger electric vehicles can be used. Still, there are many other EVs and space rockets as rival companies, but there is no company introducing force fields in their technology yet. So without any doubt, we can say that the time is near when Elon would collaborate with Boeing and make an official statement regarding this technology. Force fields are mentioned three times in the Air Force Research Laboratory's report, Directed Energy Futures 2060, which was released on July 16th. The potential for military force fields is intriguing, a concept that seems more suited to science fiction. In fact, the report includes three science fiction vignettes as an appendix. Directed energy is the real-world term to know here, and force fields are one of the more distant applications for that concept. Directed energy, according to the report, is any focused beam of electromagnetic energy used for military purposes. This could be as simple as using a low-powered laser to illuminate a target for a laser-guided system, or it could be as complex as destroying a drone with a high-powered laser or jamming radio frequencies. Directed energy weapons and tools are currently in use in a number of countries. According to the report, directed energy weapons have been used by at least 31 countries, as well as non-state actors such as militias and insurgent groups. Some of this technology is already available and in use, such as counter-drone microwaves and pilot or sensor-blending laser pointers. The Air Force's most fantastical and least attainable vision for directed energy is to use it to stop ballistic missiles. 
Despite being a concept often associated with science fiction, today's ground and ship based DE or directed energy defense systems effectively act like point localized force fields against small and relatively soft targets, the report says, before suggesting that sufficiently advanced directed energy could solve the extremely difficult problem of missile defense, or at least its technical aspect. However, to achieve the full range of power contemplated by 2060, these concepts will require significant technological advancement, it continues. Using energy to stop weapons is a difficult, iterative process that frequently fails. Even as military studies envision new concepts to get from the present to the future, we're still a ways away from being able to fully realize these types of directed energy capabilities, as our colleagues at the war zone write. We are still a ways away from being able to fully realize these types of directed energy capabilities. To create this theorized missile stopping force field, directed energy weapons could have been deployed on planes or even in space. The Air Force previously attempted to mount an airborne anti-missile laser inside of a massive 747. Despite a lot of hype in the 1990s and early 2000s, the show was canceled in 2011. It was a huge challenge a decade ago to successfully combine power supply, accurate sensors, dedicated tracking, and the reliability to intercept an incoming attack. By the 2060s, it would require a significant technological leap. While using massive lasers to stop airborne nuclear missiles in flight is well beyond the scope of modern technology, directed energy devices have had some modest successes. Some directed energy weapons in development today effectively act as counter-drone force fields, according to the report, though not necessarily as imagined by science fiction. The directed energy creates a real but unseen barrier to flight in this anti-drone application, where high-powered microwaves or constantly targeted lasers disable the electronic systems that guide the drones. The craft may not be repelled right away, but with the energy blast damaging vital systems, they won't be able to stay airborne for long. Thor, a high-powered microwave weapon being tested by the Air Force to shoot down multiple drones, is an example of a directed energy weapon. The report identifies a third type of invisible barrier of directed energy after the theorized anti-missile force field of the 2060s and the drone disruption force field of today. The Active Denial System, a weapon used by military and police forces as a less lethal crowd control tool, is the source of this force field. It heats the outer layer of skin by blasting nearby humans with 95 GHz directed energy. According to the report, people have described the physical effect of this directed energy as facing a roaring fire. Imagine creating a force field around an embassy, base, port, or other high-value location by using this spectrally precise effect. These counter-drone and counter-human weapons are a far more immediate form of energy direction than fiction's imagined force fields, which are portrayed as creating a purely passive shield against harm. The technology to prevent people from standing in an area invisibly may be a long way off. Multiple militaries have ready, deployed, and in their arsenals the technology to harm people standing in an area or drones flying nearby. Who said science fiction couldn't be accurate? This is the ultimate proof that we are living in the promised spacefaring, high-tech future. Force fields are real, and they're awe-inspiring. A force field is just one technology. We live in an era of discovery, evolution, and revolution. There are many more to come. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.